Hello and welcome to the fourth part of this HDR video tutorial. What we're going to do here is just apply a few final adjustments to our picture, basically just to enhance the shadows and the highlights, bring a bit more contrast to the image and just boost those colours a little bit. So, first thing that I've done is just to duplicate our background layer by just dragging and dropping it onto the new layer icon in the layers palette. That way um, I can just do a quick before and after. Now what I want to do is apply shadows and highlights to this background copy layer. So to do this I go up to image, adjustments, shadows and highlights and that brings up the shadows and highlights dialog window. Now here the same way as with the local adaptation we've got tonal width and radius and we can just adjust these um, again and that will adjust the brightness areas. If I boost that tonal width up to about 70% you'll see that's really bringing in a lot of um, light into the water there and also in some of the highlight mid-tones as well. If we boost it too much, right up to 100%, we're getting a sort of almost uh, solarized effect and if I boost the amount of the shadows right up, it's almost going embossed. So as you're using shadows and highlights, you do need to be very careful not to go over the top with them, lightening up uh, shadows too much or reducing highlights too much so that you get this sort of solarized or embossed look. So if we just reduce the amount back down to probably about 40-45%, I will take the tonal width up to about 60. We'll also just adjust the radius and we can see as we move the radius it sort of leaves behind a few of the shadow areas and mid-tone areas so it just separates exactly what's being included into our conversion. Again we'll do the same with the highlights so if we just increase the slider on the highlights we can actually see a lot of haloing starting to happen around the horizon so what we need to do is just to start adjusting the tonal width and the radius just to make sure that that haloing starts to disappear. Okay so after playing around with it a little bit just take the colour correction down a tad. We've just adjusted um, the shadows with um, about 76% highlights at 30% and we've just done a colour correction as well if I just boost that up to about plus 10 and that's just started to push the colour up just a little bit and we see we've now got really quite a dramatic picture going on and it's starting to get that very familiar HDR look. So if I just OK that, the next thing I want to do is just to boost um, the levels. So if I make a quick levels adjustment layer by clicking on adjustment layers and levels and I'm just going to hold down alt, move our shadow slider in until I can see it starting to clip just down here in the shadows and do exactly the same over on the right hand side until it starts to click for our highlights. If I just do a click preview before and after and you can just see we've got uh, more clarity within the picture. And The final thing is just to tweak the mid-tones, just lighten those up a little bit and the final thing is just to tweak those mid-tones just to lighten the mid-tones just a touch. Okay, so we're almost there. The last step is on the actual enhancement is just to boost the colours a little bit. So again, we go down to our adjustment layers to hue saturation and we're just going to slightly boost the colours. We got to about plus 20 and we've now got quite a nice lot of colour in the bridge there. It's a nice warm yellow and we've also really brought out the colour in the tree over on the right hand side. A little bit more. So I've gone up to um, plus 30. Click OK. Now what we have to do is just flatten those adjustment layers down into the background copy layer. So make sure you've got the top layer selected. Hold down Shift, click background copy. And then just click the menu over on the right and click merge layers and that will merge all of the uh, selected layers together. Now the final step before you print your image is just to give it a quick sharpen. So if we go up to filter, sharpen and smart sharpen. So we're just going to use um, 
Smart Sharpen just to quickly pull out a few of the edges and the line detail. Just increase the radius. And once we're happy with that, just click OK and we've done our final adjustment to our HDR picture. So we can now compare our final image with our 32-bit image and you can see how we've really boosted the shadows, midtones and the highlights. We've now got a really dramatic HDR style image.